All right, Coach, 2015, the season is quickly approaching. What excites you about Lafayette football this year? Well, you know, starting the season off any year uh, new and getting going with a new group of young men and it's watching the team come together is exciting. I think uh, for us this year, really uh, looking toward our defense to be very, very strong. That's where we have the most experience returning, um, probably the best depth that we've had in the D-line, linebacker, and in the secondary. So always count on defense to help you win championship. Yeah, offensively, you lose Ross Sherman. Uh, the offensive line, you lose some people there as well. So what's this identity of the offense going to look like? This well, year? we're not changing it much offensively, but uh, you don't replace a Ross Sherman. That's a young man that built a career over four years and finished up about as strong as you could ask someone to finish. Uh, and uh, But there's always guys that step in, Deshaun Brown and Kyle Mayfield. I think those two guys right now uh, stand the best chance to fill that role, but there'll be other guys battling in preseason camp. Have you settled on a starting quarterback? Well, uh, it, it's Drew Reeves has been our starter, and, and we'll continue to do that. He'll split reps with uh, uh, Blake Zierfoss, who's a proven winner and a leader as well. So we're really fortunate to have two quarterbacks uh, you know, in the same class that have shown that they can lead the team and they both can win. So it's a long season, haven't gotten through one yet with uh, keeping a quarterback totally healthy for 11 games, and we've got the luxury to have two of them and uh, probably will use two quarterbacks. It's been uh, an interesting offseason, uh, some good and some bad. Obviously, Ross trying to, to make it with the Steelers mm-hmm. and then the tragic news of Brian Keller and, and his loss. Uh, how difficult, what has this offseason been like for you personally and for the team? Well, it's been the most difficult that I've been through. I'm going into my 39th year of college coaching and 29 of it at Lafayette, and now it's going into 16 as the head coach, and I've never uh, experienced a young man um, you know, losing their life um, from an active roster. We've had certainly alums uh, you know, pass on, and, and very sad, but... Uh, to, to lose a young man, uh, you know, right at the peak of his life, uh, had everything going, uh, 3.3 GPA, mechanical engineering major, a creative kid, a leader, just full of life and energy and spirit and wanted nothing more than a championship in his senior year. And uh, our team uh, is going through, as his family are going through, an ongoing healing process, as I've explained to our team and continue to lead them. This is going to be something that's not going to go away. It's going to continue to be there, and every time – a new experience happens, you know, you've got to get through these things. Just watching film in the next couple of weeks as we go through camp and they're watching film. Last year's uh, film, they're going to see him on film all year long. Uh, the family's planning on being at every game. The family was just there to empty his locker out, and about 60 of our kids and our staff was there. And uh, these are all things that are uh, steps along the way. But uh, we're going to utilize his spirit and energy to – push us forward well our condolences certainly from all of us at campus insiders to the lafayette community and family and uh coach i know you'll play with heavy hearts but play with his spirit as well best of luck this year thank you very much thank you